Hi there. Welcome, siblings, to the Hippie Report. Now, what happened today is I announced that the show would begin promptly at 2.30 p.m., and I know that it is 2.15 p.m. now. So is that professional or unprofessional? Because, like, I know I said it was going to start at a certain time, but I'm here early. I'm here 15 minutes early, which is very professional. But unprofessional to miscommunicate the beginning of the show. So can we just say that this isn't technically the beginning of the show? We have like a nice slow ramp up to the show perhaps today. Is that a good idea? I don't want to be a liar, but I do want to be professional. If you say like uh, invite a, a lady out for drinks or whatever, and you say I uh, see it uh, at uh, 10 o'clock at uh, the cruise room in Denver, then, um, you know, goddamn, you're not showing up at nine o'clock, are you? You know, aren't you kind of showing up at like 850 Something like that, a little early, right? But just a couple minutes early, just to show some, you know, professionalism, some kindness. That's what I was doing. I was just trying to show up early, be professional. It's not just because I got bored and stoned and pushed the button. That that would be similar to what happened. But but I've I've framed it this other way, if you don't mind. Welcome to the show, Seth. Welcome to the show, Ron. Welcome to the show, Keith. Welcome to the show, Dave. <sighs> Welcome to the show, Martin. Welcome to the show, Alex. <sighs> I did it, man. I scrolled back through. I did it. I love to be able to say hello. This whole show is about connection. You know what I mean? Um, I still have to touch my screen again. I know we hate when I do this. Well, go away, thing. I'm getting so many text messages while I do these shows because I still have a business I'm running called Being an Artist. And, um, and apparently I'm the only guy that works here. So there's just not very many people for people to talk to. Uh, let me wash out this little glass. Little glasses are not a sponsor of this show. Not a sponsor. It just happens to be in the shot. And that way we can add... The magic ingredient for talkativeness. Not a sponsor. Magic ingredient for talkativeness. Art juice is not a fucking uh, sponsor of this show either. You know? But yesterday was 420. And today is... Um, what happened to me yesterday? 421. It was the best 420 ever, man. Has there ever been a 420 in history when the government literally shut everything down and they were like, I want you to just stay home. You know, if you have to leave the house, really the only thing you should be doing is maybe going to the grocery store if you get the munchies. Maybe the liquor store and the, the weed store are all essential. They have to stay open because this is America. It's amazing. It was an amazing 420. And if you weren't able to sit around and really enjoy your freedoms, uh, yesterday, then uh, I'm sorry. I, I assure you that I, I did your share. <clears throat> Hello, Salawa. Welcome to this show. Hello, Tanya. Welcome to the show. What up, Hind? Welcome to the motherfucking show. I'm here in Longmont, Colorado. Um, for those of you that tune into this show regularly, you already know where I'm living at or whatever. Um, but I appreciate people that tune in from all over the world. So, thank you very much. Hind, how's it going down there in uh, Egypt? How do you say? Down in Egypt? Over in Egypt? Roundabout Egypt? I'm in Colorado. My friend Hind there is over in Egypt. Now, if she were in Texas, I would be like, Hind, how's it going down there in Texas? Because you're south of me, right? But how, what, what do I say to my fucker on the other side of the earth? So, if I'm like... How is it on the other side of the... It says it takes too long to say that. I don't know. I'm uncomfortable now. What's up, Renee? Thank you for your very kind emoji work. I appreciate that. Um, when I was first uh, texting, <clears throat> I was uh, sort of against this emoji thing. I thought it was like a step backwards. 
in communication. It felt like it felt like I was trying to tell society, hey, we, we've been through like the cuneiform stage of language. You know, we've, we've seen people like draw buffaloes on walls and stuff like that. We're, we're, we're past that. We have language now, like it's a higher technology. But here's what I didn't recognize. I didn't recognize that pictures can have a different emotional resonance uh, than language. And so emojis actually become essential in communication skills nowadays. I'm a, I'm, I, I emoji all the time, dude. I'm a very emoji man. I'm very connected to my emoji side, is what I'm saying. Hello, Ron, welcome to the show. Hello, Michael, welcome to the show. <laughs> I hope you all had a great 420. And if you didn't, uh, I think you, you have some introspective work to do. Why didn't you have a great 420? It was a great 420. It was one of the greatest 420s. Every 420 has some kind of background story that's the darkness, you know. Politicians blah blahing, the soldiers blah blah, the terrorists went to the blah. All that stuff happens in the background every 420. So this 420, it's a particularly loud year. But, God damn it, the government told you, you, could, you that the weed store was essential business. That's where we're at in America. I think it's amazing. If you think it's amazing, and you'd like to give me money for helping you realize it's amazing, there's my Venmo. Uh, you're welcome to, uh, <laughs> to tab me up any old time, friends. Uh, or if you'd like to be a sponsor for this episode, there are no sponsors for this show. Uh, but if, if you would like to be a sponsor for this show, um, you can Venmo me $100 right now. And if you do that, I'll see the pop-up on my screen, I think. And at that point, you will be the sponsor of the episode. So, hello, Emily. Welcome to the show. Let's say Emily was like, fuck it. I want to be the sponsor of today's episode. Uh, this magical, beautiful experience of connection and uh, normality uh, uh, that, that is being provided. I'd like to sponsor that. Uh, she, all, she, all she'd have to do is go to my Venmo, which is here. It's always displayed on the show. It's the most important thing on the show. Um, uh, give me a hundred bones and I'll be like, oh, Emily, let me sing the song of Emily uh, until the sun. Yeah, we, last week it was Wayne or yesterday it was Wayne. Oh my God, it was only yesterday. Yesterday it was Wayne. Yes, I emoji you too, Renee. Thank you. Wayne on. Yes, Wayne was the uh, sponsor of yesterday's episode and he helped us all. <sighs> Wayne really waned our Waynes, man. He waned our wanes and showed us the true wane within us. Didn't he? Didn't you find that to be true? Don't, didn't you feel your, your wane rise, man? I felt my wane rise. Dustin, welcome to the show. Dustin, I hope you're having the most beautiful day you've ever encountered. I hope it's mysterious, but welcome. I'm wearing a much more conservative shirt jacket combination today. I figured if I'm going to be doing a show for the community, you know, I might as well dress up and show some purposefulness. I actually do actually have some lighting choices that I'm, I'm trying to make, even though I'm not wearing makeup for the show and the lighting, it's tough to not me look like, um, you know, the ghost of some kind of uh, junior bank teller, something like that. That's sort of a drag, the ghost of a junior bank teller. Uh, but yeah, that's that's sort of what I look like. Uh, I don't know. If you want to, if you want to send me some dollars and be like, buy yourself a light that makes you look like you didn't die four years ago, or whatever, I, I will. You know, you're allowed to earmark my my money. If you want to send me some some cash for entertaining you, you're allowed to earmark that. I think that's only fair. Um, some people say you're only allowed to spend this on alcohol. That's how I end up with the art juice that I drink during these episodes. I wouldn't dare spend it on my bills. This is my people that they sent this to me, man. I'm not just going to spend it any old way. But it'd be, it'd be great if people quit sending me money for drugs. That, it's great. Thank you for sending me money for, for drugs. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to go out and buy a bunch of drugs. But I, I will buy weed and I will buy uh, bourbon 
So there's some rules about this, and I'm not gonna let my cat starve. So, and she don't, she just doesn't like bourbon. She's a cat. Cats can be picky. So, <laughs> you know what I'd love for you to uh, earmark my money. Uh, if you'd like to send me a little cash, and you want to be like, here's a here's a buck or two or whatever, um, I would love to try and get into the stock market. Is anybody here on the stock market? Does it seem like a good thing or a bad thing? What's up, Kirk? What's up, Sean? Welcome to the shows. Uh, welcome to the show, friends. Um, the stock market. They say it's in real bad shape, but I think what that means is like it's at the fucking entry level. If you if you are looking to get into the stock market, seems like to me, now's a great time because everything's ruined. That's a great time because it's cheaper. Everything's cheap. So I think I have like some moves I'm trying to make in the stock market. I'm not going to try and tell everybody what I'm into because I think that might be illegal. But uh, I'm trying to get into the stock market. I'm real interested. Uh, or maybe I am supposed to tell everybody what I'm into. I have no idea what the rules are about it. I just know it's how you like bet on America. And I let me put it this way, friends. Don't bet against America. You should bet on America. We're all fucked up right now. But... Yo, if you got some money, it's probably a pretty safe bet to bet on America. We're going to bounce back, and um, boy, we could we could just all be doing a lot better. More of us ought to be in the stock market. It's like, a, it's like democracy for the economy. Is that an idiot thing to say? Yeah, I think it is. Well, that seems... That seems pretty on brand for this show, right? But yeah, man, I'm in the penny stock situation. I've been doing that for the last year and a half, and uh, I've 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 learned how the game works. Feels like I'm ready to fucking play. If you want to send me some money, it's right there. That'd be it'd be hilarious. I can't. I guess I don't think I'm supposed to tell you what I do with it or whatever. I have no idea how the rules work, but I was just sitting around drinking bourbon the other day and realized like, you know, hey, I'm a white guy in a suit. Why am I not fucking around in the stock market? You know what I mean? Doesn't it seem like white guys in suits or stock market people maybe? I just think they're pretty. I just like suits. Makes my shoulders look nice. Get to wear this cool color thing. I like, I like wearing a suit. Make me feel classy and shit. But also, like, makes me look like uh, some type of weird authority figure, you know? I don't like that part very much. <clears throat> I just think suits are pretty. But sitting around realizing you're a white dude in a suit not playing in the stock market, bah, it just makes me feel like I'm not even, I don't know, I'm somehow missing out. I think we all probably ought to think about being in the stock market. Really, I'm just a poor guy who buys nice-looking cheap stuff and uh, appreciates beauty and like wants to make his art. I'll bet you're a very similar uh, kind of character. Mostly want to like mind your business and be friendly uh, and not have to worry all the time about making money. I want to make my money make money for me. You know what I'm saying? If you'd like to help me out and help me tell an inspiring story back to you uh, sometime in the future, you could help me by investing in me for funsies. I have a history of giving back to my community anyway, so if I can become fabulously wealthy, I'll probably just like, I don't know, keep some of it to like eat and stuff. Maybe like rent a place somewhere nice. See, look at that. My most fabulous dreams are about renting a nice place. Somewhere nice. <laughs> I'm pretty cheap to run, folks. <laughs> you know? I don't even need a pony. I'd like to visit ponies if I'd like. I'd like to be able to, to visit ponies, but I don't need a pony. You know? Just saying. Bourbon, not a sponsor of this show. Nice to see everybody. I hope everybody's doing very well. Um... You know what's nice is, is a lot of us were on here yesterday on the 420 episode, um, otherwise known as the Gorgeous Tuxedo episode. You're welcome. 
uh, <laughs> yesterday we were all sitting around getting as stoned as you could ever be. And um, all together as a community, that was a beautiful time. What's up, Bunk? Good to see you. Uh, that was a wonderful time. And isn't it nice that none of us are hung over about that today? This is not me telling you that you have to try uh, a substance you are unfamiliar with or unfriendly with or whatever. But I will say my experience with cannabis is much more friendly than my experience uh, with alcohol. Uh, I'm still friends with both because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a good friend, you know? And if, uh, if you show yourself to be friendly, you will have many friends. That's from the Bible. So I assume if, if I applied it and it's from the Bible, it's probably like wicked true. So, <laughs> Bunk, it's good to see you. I hope you're making art on this beautiful day in Longmont, Colorado. The shining beacon on a hill uh, of a town that it is. Boy, I couldn't get out of that sentence. I'm feeling sort of... Um, relaxed today actually i was feeling down the past uh couple weeks <laughs> that sounds way longer when i say it out loud it's fine but the last couple of weeks i've been feeling down and today i woke up feeling much more collected much more myself and um i'm not saying that's connected to smoking all that weed yesterday but i i will say that like i don't know I felt I felt like I, I got to release a lot of pressure yesterday um, just by giving myself permission to take time off. Uh, and that's really what it was. It was the time off. So if you're a sort of a, I don't want to say workaholic because that makes it sound like you can't do anything about it, but uh, or, or that it's some kind of, I don't know, anything other than just a habit. And I believe working too much is probably just a habit. So for me... Uh, I just want to fucking say out loud that like, pfft, sometimes it's nice when I just take it easy for a day. And uh, I work for myself at home here in my studio. So like, I never go home from work. And I would never anyway. So uh, I when I actually take time off, it, it turns out to be like really, really fulfilling. And so if, if any of this is resonating with you, hear me subtly saying maybe you should take a day off. You are making art. Good for you, Bunk. Good for all of us, man. Uh, if you don't know Bunk, uh, he's in the comments there. And uh, he's a great artist. And we, we all want him to make his art. The reason is uh, his art makes you feel good. It's beautiful. It's inspiring. Um, he's one of those artists you really want him to make his thing. The children are out in the streets. <sighs> I don't like that shit. I want a garden, but I don't want the children to talk to me. They're out there in the street and shit. They're very friendly, very personable or whatever, very well socially adjusted and shit. So they're like, you know, they've, they've, their parents have been around. I know everybody in the neighborhood, you know, of course, kind of loosely. But um, I want to get wicked stoned and I want to do some gardening. I don't want the fucking kids to talk to me. So I'm going to do some backyard gardening where it's safe. You know, I like those kids. They're nice. They're nice kids. I'm not trying to talk shit about the kids. Holy fuck. This is on the internet. They could be watching. Children, you're fine. You're wonderful. I, I, you're just, you know, fucking little wonders of, of humanity. And I don't, I don't want to hang out with you and shit. Doesn't that seem fair? you know, one day you'll be a big person and I'll be an old person and then you won't want to hang out with me. See how it goes? That's fine. So that's, that's, that's our future. We're, we're just not, we're not timed out together, friends. We're not in sync uh, to be friends. And so let's just, you know, <laughs> I almost said, let's just never talk again. But no, I don't, no, Jesus, I don't mean that. Fuck, they're not really watching this. They don't. They don't do that, right? They're not like watching the internet. They don't have the internet, do they? Fuck. Oh God, they might know. They know my name for sure. Well, they think I'm. They they call me Ando, of course. 
that's fucking worse, right? Jesus Christ, if those kids have the Google in my name, what well, will happen? My content is really not for children, and I'm not really living my life trying to, to interact with children or reach them with my art at all, so uh, just just would rather deal with all adults all the time. That's just kind of my thing. Bless the children. But, you know, like uh, when Jesus was like, uh, boy, I'm referencing the Bible a lot lately. When Jesus was like, let the children come unto me, blessed are the children and shit, I'm like, Blessed are the children, and then, like, maybe they should stick close to their parents, and maybe, like, I would just want to smoke a joint over here in my garden without kids peeking over the fence and wondering who this guy is or whatever. I had an art show in the garden not so long ago, and the kids were enamored by that. They knew they weren't really allowed, so they, they just kind of, like, jumped on their trampolines, and it was like... I had, like, tents up and stuff like that. I, you know, I don't have anything salacious going on, but, like, a lot of, like, colorful flags and a lot of, like, art and stuff like that. Some some nudity, I guess, in the art. A little, I guess. Barely. But mostly I just don't want... I just don't want kids watching us smoke joints all the time, I guess. Responsible adult, I guess. Or, or you know, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm a great American. I'm a great American swinging my fists... Uh, for fun, and I, I have very rarely connected with anybody's face. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm not trying to teach kids anything. I'm trying to teach myself some shit and document it just in case it helps anyone else. That's what my shit's about. What's up, Nick? I hope you're doing very well. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh, fuck. You know, man, it's one of those days when um, I'm not sure how long the show should be. And um, mostly, if you if this, this, there's always a first show for everybody. And a lot of people watched our 420 show yesterday. So maybe you've come back today. Uh, most people watch this after the fact. Because I, I, I never talk about when I'm doing the show. It's always random. Um, if this is your first episode, all this show is, is me being quarantined, taking my break during the day, where I'm, I'm, I'm a full-time artist if we're just meeting. Um, and my, um, that would be weird if we're just meeting, I guess. I don't know some of you people. Um, but... I'm a full-time artist, and I, I live here, and I work here, and um, at some point during the day, every day, um, I kind of, like, take a break and smoke a bowl or have a little drink or something like that, um, kind of, usually sort of like after lunch kind of vibe. After lunch, a couple hours after lunch, I'm ready to take a break. <laughs> so I do most of my shit in the morning, um, but... Uh, I just started doing a show, and the, the idea of the show is just to show up live on Facebook and say hello to the people that are around, and try and be sort of, uh, I don't know, sort of a regulating influence. I try not to talk about super important shit, or, you know, try and solve the world's problems. I don't really talk about politics. We talk about British Parliament sometimes, that's different. But we don't talk about politics. We talk about Parliament. I just like yelling people. People in suits yelling is the best. What's up, Daniel? What's up, William C? Wow, William C. Dude, William C, my first songwriting hero. Welcome to the show. This is not really much of a show. I don't really make a plan. I just get on here and start talking or whatever. And, um... Sometimes respond to comments, but mostly I just chew up a rant every day kind of around this time It's sort of the like if you've ever wondered what it was like to sit around and smoke a bowl with me This is the this is exactly what it's like Order! Order! That's how they fucking say it. Yeah, Renee, you're, you're hundred percent correct. Renee has seen previous episodes <laughs> uh, I love it oh, 
short, short thing about British Parliament. Oh, God. And I'm not even sure that's what they call it. But uh, I love watching the MP person have to, like, shout down all of the besuited screamers. And um, it's just like a sea of, like, suits and stuff. They're, like, gray suits and brown, like, real dark brown suits, maybe, but it's supposed to, like, grays and blues and blacks and shit, and, um, and then every once in a while, usually it's, like, the female members, they'll be, like, maybe, like, a blue dress or something like that, but it's mostly just a sea of kind of, like, like, muted dark tones, and everybody's shouting, calling each other, like, (laughs) I don't know, the honorable gentleman and shit, but it, like, and 11 in their volume. Yeah. But Bunk's in it too, man. Oh, duh! Bunk! With a good gentleman, Bunk! With a kind gentleman, Bunk! Oh, duh! Yeah. Bunk fucking res- b- 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 shall not speak from a seated position. You know, that kind of shit. It's the best. Uh, it's it's like my favorite thing. It's, it's, probably, it's probably one of my favorite things uh, on the internet right now. And... I'm glad that, that we all appreciate this now. Uh, I'm glad that it's our little thing in this community now. Um, bless each and every one of you for understanding. And also, it's just fun to scream shit. Seems like it'd be... I would, like, go move over there just to get involved in politics. It just seems way more fun. It just seems so much more fun than over here. Art juice, that makes you make art, you know? As long as it get, if it gets too light in color, the art juice, this stuff. Not a, not a sponsor, not a sponsor. Uh, but if you have a glass of that stuff, um, it's really good unless it gets too light in color. Then it kind of like stops working. So you have to add more to keep the color darker. And if the color remains more of that like kind of rich amber uh, sort of color, um, and the only way to do it is keep it, keep a lot of liquid in the glass itself, um, that seems to really help, you know, uh, keep it keep it working. But if it if it gets too light in color, it really seems to not quite. I don't know. It tastes different. I don't know. I don't like it. So uh, I like to keep it not like this is already getting pretty light. Do you see that difference in that color? See how it's sort of like yellowing out because there's just not enough of it in there, maybe? Uh, maybe try and fix that later. But, um, studio update in my world. Uh, I'm recording a new album. It's coming along. Um, I recorded a... Well, I've been mixing a song all day. And this uh, the song is called The Robots Will Take Control. Um... Uh, I think it's a really good song. It's a, it's a song that's been really popular in the community when I play it live. They really seem to like it. And I'm really, really happy with the recording. It's got a lot of like synthesizers, of course, in it. It's about robots. It's a song about robots. What are you going to play it on? You know what I mean? You've got to play it on some synthesizer and shit. So, um, that song is almost done being mixed. And then... Um, I've really only got two or three more fixes that I've got on my list for the whole album. And then it'll be mastering time. And then it'll be figuring out album art time. So that's that's the timetable on that. For those of you that have been asking me about musical efforts. Yes, I have started making an effort again. I just get so distracted doing these other projects. I've been doing a lot of photography projects. um, With liquid light. Um, which you can see on my website, but, uh, yeah, I've just been overwhelmed with the amazing stuff that I've been able to make with partnerships on that, with models, and then with, uh, other, other, like, uh, film companies. It's, it's been really great to team up with people about that. Um, order! Um, so, that's a little bit of fucking how my life's working out. Not so bad. Nice to see you, Daniel. <laughs> I'm, you're welcome to be here, backwards guy. Um, 
I, I, you know, I'm dyslexic guy, so you're welcome here. You're not even gonna weird me out, backwards guy. Very good. Someday this quarantine will be over, and um, I'm gonna kind of tiptoe around the next topic here. Um, one day this quarantine will be over. Probably soon, but maybe like, you know, who knows, someday it will be. And I've been getting a little bit of interest in getting, um, I've, I've been approached about maybe keeping this show going in a different kind of context, but uh, doing the Hippie Report more. And maybe not every goddamn day, but regularly and maybe starting to have guests and stuff like that so I don't know I what do you guys think of that does that seem fun it seems fun to me um I don't know if you guys would watch this after you are not locked in your homes you, you're still going to be out of things to watch you know you, it's going to take you a while before the tv people get out in front of you with their programming so for now, I just make it for you if you want. Um, I don't know. Let me let me know and and uh, chime in in my uh, comments if you want. Let me know. It'd be fun. Oh, Rihanna. Hey Rihanna. Hey, how are you? It is really good to see you. I hope you're doing very well. All quarantined away like some kind of caged rabbit. I hope you get to run free, rabbit. Be a free rabbit, Rihanna. Rihanna the rabbit. Um. Keep it going, huh? Keep it going, huh? Everybody says, keeping it going. Guests on the show. Yeah, man. It'd be fun to have guests. It'd be fun to, like... I don't know. There's some people uh, that might be able to come on the show. Other people might not be able to come on the show because of the content. All right. Everybody seems in favor of that. Huh. Um, fun. Well, uh, I gotta tell you, when I started this show, I thought to myself, um, this is a dumb idea, and if, if it works, uh, in the way that it's intended, and it didn't, because it morphed into this whole other beautiful thing, but if it works, like, it could be a, a really beautiful tool, uh, for reaching out to the community in a way that I never have. So... I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the show. It's fun to make. It's, I gotta tell you, it's pretty low intensity work. Yeah, beautiful. Well, oh, I bless you all. I think you're all wonders of the universe. Thank you for chiming in. If you wanna slip into my DMs or whatever and uh, give me some thoughts. Um, as far as guests would be concerned, uh, that would be really fun. It'd be fun to just have my normal friends on the show. I would want to keep the show still pretty light. You know, I don't necessarily want to cover the news. But it'd be cool to have local politicians on. I'm friends with most of our local politicians. Well, let's see. That's not really true anymore. I don't know all the local politicians anymore. I've tuned out for the last few years here. Um, as far as, like purposefully meeting people and making sure I'm friends. And so when things happen in the community, you know, we have people to turn to as the artist community and whatever needs to. Um, but there are lots of them that I am friends with, you know, council people and um, I don't know. I like a lot of the people. We have a lot of good public servants. So I'd love to maybe sneak a, one, of the, one or two of those folk on. Um, yeah, whatever. It'd be fun, man. I'm uh, I'm kind of just interested in, in doing the Hippie Report more, and we'll see. We'll see if we keep having stuff to report on, I guess. Um, hmm. Well, obviously, I'm in deep thought about it, but I don't need to do my goddamn contemplation in front of you folks. Uh, thank you very much for watching the show. Let's make sure our bowl is cleaned out. You know, you should always clean out your bowls, man, because, you know, 
there are some poor kids in Texas that aren't allowed to smoke weed, you know? And if, and if they could smoke just like the resin from your bowl, they'd be doing backflips of joy, you know? But, you know, their government, you know, doesn't trust them uh, to, to be responsible with their own cognition and with their own consciousness. So, to freedom, friends, to freedom. May you all think for yourselves. I demand you all think for yourselves. Do exactly as I say. Think for yourselves. In fact, uh, whatever you do, uh, follow your own best interest. And what will you do? Will you, will, you do? will you do what's in your best interest? Or will you be like, fuck this guy. I'm definitely going to like use my face for a hammer or whatever. I don't know. Have fun with that. I hope you all do a good thing in your life. Don't use your face for a hammer. Just a little disclaimer there. Don't use your face for a hammer. And also, uh, I don't know if you're taking my advice very seriously in the world here, but like someone was supposed to have handed you a, a grain of sand or whatever, or a grain of salt that you can take. <laughs> you know, if you take a grain of sand in this hand to contemplate the, the, uh, the, the, my giant intellect. <laughs> and then this one, you fucking have the grain of salt that you ingest before you take my medicine. Have a great day and don't take it so seriously, would you? <laughs>